you know how much I hate Mr. Brazier. How he has survived the countless DFAs this winter, I don't understand and I won't understand. Even if Ryan Brazier comes out and he's a really good reliever this year, I still don't think I will be able to wrap my head around the fact that he was able to survive this long. That is the thing, though. Like, I'm kind of has said without saying, like, us looking at the advanced numbers, we really think that he's got the stuff. God bless you. I don't know how you think that. I don't know what numbers you're possibly looking at, but to... I think with, with Matt Barnes, I think it's it was a lot of his expected numbers. They thought he got lucky a lot. They thought a lot of the stuff that stayed in the infield was good contact and that he would continue to give up more contact. His strikeout rates were down, which like, can all be true, but also yeah. doesn't mean that he didn't perform better than Ryan Brazier. It's like, well, he didn't match the projections. Well, because he did better. Uh, yeah, no, I don't get it. I don't know why Ryan Brazier's still there. I think even if he comes out and has a good year that I don't even know if I would believe that Heim saw something in him. It feels like he's dug in. Like the whole front office has decided no matter what Ryan is here just to prove a point almost.